Hi there. So in this video, we will see how to read and parse JSON content with the help of Casper.js. So make sure that you have installed and configured Casper.js on your operating system. So first thing to do, open text editor and save the file with name sample.js. Okay. Now let's start writing the code. First thing, create variable name Casper equals to require and call for Casper and then create method. Now here we are going to specify a few things. For example, specify the mode. We'll make it true and then once you specify verbose mode, you can also set log level so that you can get warnings and messages of or how this script is debugging okay that being said you can now create variable name site and then call for jsonview.com then slash example dot json okay then casper dot start here you will specify your site variable then casper dot then here you can call for inline function okay and here we write the code which is console dot log and here this dot get page content Okay, so we are reading and printing that content. Also, you can parse the content using variable, let's say, JSON string. And here, you can use JSON.parse and then this dot get page content. And finally, you can call for require dot, okay, require method that calls for details and then dump the content of json string okay that's all and once you do that you can run your casper script so make sure that everything looks correct you created casper variable instance and call for Casper instance and within create method you specified verbose mode and also set the debug level to set log level to debug and then point it out to your example.json file then we are in then function with within which we are printing our JSON content and also passing JSON data convert it into object okay so now let's execute the code open command prompt type in casper.js and then type sample.js now hit enter okay so this started debug level execution of your script now it will pass your json content and print it out on screen Okay, so here you can see the content of your JSON file gets printed right here. So this was a short video on how to read and pass JSON content with the help of Casper.js.